Hey, VV Nation, welcome to our channel. This week, like we do for the past few weeks, I'm going to give you my top five picks within the VectorVest system for the United States, for Canada, and for Australia. Keep in mind, I'm not looking at any news. This is all about the virtue and the power of the VectorVest software to produce these candidates. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, what are your signals or what are you looking for when you do this? What are your search criteria? The answer to that question is that there's not specific search criteria that I use to find these stocks. It's the power of looking at CI in the VectorVest software from the stock viewer. Then I went and go look for, make sure that the, co the, the companies are financially or fundamentally sound. So I look at relative value above one, relative safety above one. I also want to make sure that the earnings are positive and positive earnings growth. I want to make sure that they're either a buy or a hold. And I want to make sure that when I put these stocks together, that it's a nice diversified portfolio of stocks. Those are the things that I'm looking for. Now, one of the things that I'd like to look for and make sure that the stocks are all undervalued as well. That doesn't always happen, but just because the stock is overvalued doesn't make it a bad stock. It just means I want you to keep your eye on that stock. Last but not least, when should you get into these stocks? If you're looking at these stocks when I show them to you, look for your buying points, look at moving averages, breaking through resistance, things of that nature to get into these stocks. I'm bringing them to your attention to give you the opportunity to make money in the market. And there's a lot of characteristics of what I'm looking for. All right, let's get right into the software. So let's start off with the US. Here's my top five for the United States. AEHR, RMBS, UFPT, YPF, and ELF. Now, as I look at these, out of this listing of stocks in the top five stocks, only one stock is undervalued and that's YPF. What news is driving these? Don't care. What I am looking for outside of these stocks being overvalued, I'm looking for the upside capabilities, looking at relative value, the stock's ability to outperform the market over the next one to three years. On a, on a scaling between zero and two, all of these are above one. All of these stocks should outperform a AAA corporate bond over the next one to three years. Relative safety, how safe is the stock? On that same scale in between zero and two, all of them are above the value of one. These companies make money. Some do a better job making money than others, but they all make money. And they are all in an uptrend. RT tells me if the stock is in an uptrend or not, still on that scaling between zero and two. Above one, the stock's in an uptrend. The higher above one it is, the faster in an uptrend it is. And then all of these have the uh, master indicator VST above one. Now, something else that I'm looking for when I'm looking at the top five stocks, the stock's ability to withstand long or lengthy price declines. We all know that stocks go down in price, but I have an indicator, CI, Comfort Index, that shows me the stock's resilience uh, and goes up more than it goes down. The stock's ability to withstand long or lengthy price declines. And I think that that's important when I'm looking at a stock to get into to make sure that it's going to continue to move higher. CI needs to play a role. Now, let's move over to some other information that I'm looking for. All of these stocks have positive earnings and they grow their earnings in double digit clips. That's also important. So not only do I want these stocks to go up more than they go down, I want them to be safe. I want them to be able to outperform the market, but I want them to be able to continue to grow their earnings since that's the engine that drives the stock's price higher. None of these stocks pay dividend. I'm okay with that. Now, another thing. I always want to be in a stock that's got an average volume of at least 100,000 shares. I noticed that UFPT gives me an average volume of 72,000 shares. I'm going to also keep that in the back of my mind and be careful with that, even though it meets all my other characteristics. So if earnings is the engine that drives a stock's price higher, what's the fuel that fuels the engine? sales. I'm noticing that all of these stocks have sales growth in double digits as well. Look at Elf Beauty, 78% in earnings, uh, so, sorry, in sales growth. That's huge. All right. And then the last thing I'm looking for is to make sure that we're diversified. We have electronic semiconductor equipment, manufacturing, same sector, different industries, healthcare products, petroleum, personal, nicely diversified. So those are the things that I'm looking for because I keep getting the questions of what are your search criteria? All I really do, just to let you know, I go to the stock viewer. From the stock viewer, I sort the stock viewer by CI, all right? 
from here, I look through the list to make sure that relative values and relative safeties are above one. I noticed that EMT, ETMB makes the list uh, by top, by uh, CI, but look at the fundamentals. I bypass that, I go to the next one, boom. I go to the next one, it's got relative value, relative safety above one, boom. Next one and so on. That's how I come up with the list. I do not have search criteria. They're things that I'm looking for to bring these stocks to your attention. All right, so that's the US market. Let's now move over to the Canadian market. Same thing, same scenario. I do the same thing. So let's go look at HPS.A, MATR, SHLE, SJ, and SGML. Made the list again but it meets the criteria. Relative values, relative safeties, all above one. All of these stocks are in uptrends, VST above ones, all buy recommendations. Now, when I go back and I look at buy recommendations, I need you to know just because a stock is a buy doesn't mean it's always the right time to buy. What did I say when I looked at the United States stocks? Buy your time, wait your time, look for some kind of an entry point before you pull the trigger on any of these trades. All CIs above one, earnings look at this positive earnings positive earnings growth let's keep on moving to the side uh average volume canadian stocks don't trade nearly as heavily traded as american stocks so i'm okay with these average volumes let's scroll over sales growth be careful with sgml it's got a sales growth of zero i want you to keep your eyes on that but Three out of the five have nice double digit sales growth. Let's scroll over to the side. Where else? Electronic petroleum, petroleum building, mining, nicely well diversified. So here's my top five stocks for the Canadian market. And let's go one more and let's go to the Australian market. Same scenario. Um, DUR.AX, SMP.AX, LAU.AX, MAD.AX, and XRF.AX. All right, let's go look at the relative values and the relative safeties on these companies. All above one, relative timing. These companies are in uptrends. VST. Now, here's a list where we have a hold recommendation. What does that mean for me? It means that it's not a buy, but it's not a sell. I'm still going to wait for my buying opportunity by way of moving averages, support resistance, whatever I want to use for me to get into these stocks. Remember, we all trade differently, so we all look for different signals to get in. Look at the earnings, all positive earnings growth rate, uh, nice double digits, none of the up, oh, they do pay dividends. Wow, and these stocks in Australia that pay dividends have a dividend safety nicely above 50. Not only do they pay dividends, these are great safe dividends. So not only are these my top five stocks, they also do give you some passive income. Way to go, Australia. Uh, average volume is here. It looks like they all are good as far as average volume. Look at the sales growth. Good, googly, muggly, nice sales growth. Let's go look to see if they are diversified. Three of these are in industrials, in the industrial sector, but different industries. I do like that. Steel, telecom, I think, again, nicely diversified across the board. So folks, now you have an idea of what I'm looking for when I go through different countries to find the top five stocks in each one of these countries. Folks, I want you to let me know in the chat, how have these stocks been working out for you? Have they been good? Have they been bad? You don't like it? You want me to keep going? Whatever you want to tell me, I need some input from you because you know, folks, I, I want to make sure that I'm providing what you guys want in regards to the video content. So if you're doing well, let me know. If you're not doing so well, let's see what we can do to fix that. I try to answer as many of the comments as I possibly can. If you're new to the channel, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so that you'll know every Monday you're gonna know when the video comes out for the top five stocks for the week, all right? And um, if you're, that's about it, I, that, that's a lot. That's enough that I gotta cover. I love doing this for you. I love that it was suggested that you wanted to do that. Just let me know, let me know in the, in the comments how you like these. Folks, this video is over. And until the next time, see ya. Hey, VV Nation, our next free VectorVest portfolio challenge is about to kick off. Folks, you wanna learn how to remove bad stocks from your portfolio and know which are the best stocks to buy and better yet, to know when to buy them? Let me break it down for you real quick. 
We're going to teach you how to become an expert at stock analysis. We're going to help you to know when to sell and weed out the bad stocks from your portfolio. We're going to teach you when to buy and put the probability on your side. We're going to help you to know what to buy and how to cherry pick great candidates. And one last thing to simplify your day with a 10 minute management plan. Folks, you don't want to miss this. It is free. Go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash PC and you want to do it now.